Hello, spicy reefers. You know what time it is. It's time to spice it up. All right, so now this is the absolute critical part here. We need to weigh our shrimp eggs. So now uh, you need to get yourself a scale that measures down to the gram. Guys, don't fall for it. Oh, man. Gonna add some hot water. Make sure it's not gonna drain out. And then we're gonna add some salt. Could be any kind of salt. Could be marine salt. Yeah. We're gonna put a spoonful in there. Well, it can't be table salt. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Spoonful of salt. Get our bubbler going. There we go, bubbling up. Also another critical part of this is keeping that water warm. Now, we are hatching a live organism, right? Brine shrimp, shrimp, it's a fish. It's a living thing in the sea. So we preferably want that water to be the same temperature that they grow up in. This LED is not going to give us uh, enough heat and even if it did give us enough heat we don't know what temperature that is unless you put a thermometer in there so I just have this little mini nano heater uh, dunk it in and turn it on slash plug it in and boom we are at 80 degrees well as soon as it warms up or cools down whichever the case may be now the light what that light is for is the eggs themselves, the little tiny eggs, they need light in order to hatch. Well, they don't need it, but you'll get a better hatch rate if you have more light. Now, they don't need the light the entire time. They only need the light <clears throat> for about two to three hours, and they don't need it, <clears throat> they don't need it in the first couple hours because the eggs are still really hard. So the, the chlorine from the water is softening them up, the water is softening them up and then the light when that's critical is between the second and the sixth hour that's when they need the light that's when it, it helps them and I'm not sure what it is but it, there's some studies online and, and, and I found them and they're easy to look up just like brine shrimp light hatching something like that. we got heat we got light and the other thing I'm not gonna remember to turn this on after two hours so I just leave it on and then Sometime tonight, it's morning, I leave it on, and sometime tonight I'll turn it off. Then guaranteed six hours there. I run this thing 36 hours. I don't feed brine shrimp every single day to these fish. I do it every other day. Now I could do it every day if I get two of these things running. So what I do do is every other day. So every, uh, every other morning, I get this thing started, get the eggs in there, and then not tonight, but tomorrow night at 36 hours, more or less, then I will harvest the shrimp. And 36 just gives me so much better hatch rate than 24 hours. Um, but you do have to remember morning, night, morning, night. So it's kind of like you're always working for these guys. That's all right. They're your pets, right? Let's do a little close-up of the operation. All right, so we have our heater. Uh, this is a Gatorade bottle, one of the bigger ones. This is a smaller one. They both work just fine. All I did was... Um, melt a hole in the bottom and then I just use hot glue to um, to fit it in there sometimes it leaks but I'm over a sink so I don't really care um, check valve you see that and then I've got two of these um, T sections um, that allows me to actually I could probably just do it with one right let's see if I just removed this cap I could get the the brine shrimp to flow out of the caps so I could get away with just one probably but I have two and so when the brine shrimp are hatched after the 36 hour I go ahead and just open this one up and then they they come down through the hole up there 
But yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just, uh, probably if I pop this on and off too many times, it'll probably start leaking. So I'm not gonna bother. Anyway, that's it. That is the close up of my awesome, amazing, just kind of come up with your own thing. And really all you need is a bubbler. It's coming out of there. You can take, you can take this instead of shoving it through the bottom, um, put it in a straw. I've, I've connected to a straw or you don't even need a straw. You just take that tube and shove it down in there, clamp it to the edge. So that way you've got uh, water tumbling. And then um, you can take one of these turkey basters and at the end of the 36 hours, just suck them right out of the bottom. I've kind of felt like I was missing out on, on some of the, um, the brine shrimp were getting stuck down there and it was just kind of a big old mess. Here's, here's the other thing I did is I took that tube and I just shoved it into a straw and then that gave me a nice rigid, but to start off with, you know, Hey, that worked fine. I did that for a couple of months until I got tired of it. <laughs> All right. Time for a little tank maintenance. This one on Amazon. It's a uh, five volt USB. You can plug it into your battery backup, which is kind of cool. Ryobi makes a battery backup. Oh, look, I have it over here. They have this emergency light, which also has a USB. And when you leave it plugged into the wall, comes on automatically if the power goes down. That includes the USB. So if I were to leave this plugged in, at all times it would remain powered and if the electricity cut, boom, switches over to whatever battery you have on here. And the light comes on. Picking up stuff that they're eating. Time for us to harvest some brine shrimp. Let's take a look. Look at those guys. Let's get the light off of there. Now, I put the light on top. There we go. Get all those brine shrimp. I'd say we have pretty darn close to 100% hatch rate. All right, so we get the light on there. We disconnect the bubble maker. And you can wait if you want and let all the brine shrimp settle and the eggs float to the top. But really there aren't a whole lot of eggs in the mix. Some of them we can see are stuck to the side here just because of the shape of the bottle there. All right, so I'm gonna put this camera down so I can use both hands. There we go. All right, 
bubblers off. Put that on there. We got our sieve here. Look at that. Nice little sieve. We're going to... Well, you can't see all the way down in here, can you? But all I'm doing is... Can you see this? We're going to... Got the little hose here. I'm going to put that inside the sieve. And we're going to drain out. We have two batches that we need to do. One for the um, the guppies and one for the discus. So I'm just going to simply open the valve here. Brown chip are coming out. They're going into the sieve there. Doesn't need much because a lot of them are accumulating at the bottom. So now the sieve takes a while to drain. But a nice little trick, you rub your finger on the bottom and you break up the membrane of the water molecule. So now we've got, we've got a nice little bunch of brine shrimp there. So we're gonna suck them out. I just use a syringe. There's no needle on it. Get a little hot water. It's really just warm water. I let them accumulate to the corner, and with one hand, I suck them out. Get the air bubbles out. I didn't quite get that many. Now I'm going to let the rest of it drain. Yep. So there we've got our syringe full of brine shrimp. Look at that. Beautiful. So what we're going to do is I'll just take you upstairs with me. Get our syringe here. Take the camera off the mount. And we'll go on our little journey to feed us some guppies. <laughs> that really is a lot of brine shrimp, isn't it? to the discus and now this one gets a little slightly more complicated we're going to lift the glass top off the back there we go find ourselves a nice little empty spot here and then just dip it in and swish it around I do it pretty close to the little jail cell so that way the bad guys get their feeding too. Let's turn the light on in here. You can see all the brine shrimp that I just poured in. Discus don't like me staring at them so close. 
they're gone. Look at all the candy cane tetras down below, swimming like crazy. Going after the little pickings. Even the bad guys get some. And feeding brine shrimp is that simple. Takes very little effort once you get it all set up. Get your routine up and running. All right, so thanks for watching that one. And I'll catch you on the next one. Spicy Reef here, signing off. Now what are you doing? I think I got it. How do you know if it's up or down? Oh.